spectacular Copacabana Beach was a fitting venue for the sport of paratriathlon to make its Paralympic debut. 60 athletes from 18 nations competing in six medal events. The men's PT1 for athletes with more extreme mobility impairments was the last of the medal races to take to the waters off Copacabana Beach. Well had risen, and the first of the athletes to reach the beach was world champion Jetse Platt. The athletes were assisted up the beach and into their wheelchairs before making their way to their hand cycles for the cycle leg. Platt had a 55 second advantage, but behind him, just 35 seconds covered the next four competitors. Taking off that wetsuit at the moment, just getting that wetsuit down. Who is Kipper? Dutchman Platt, who had his right leg amputated, was in dominant form. Three race favourite, Australian Bill Chaffee, who had only lost two races in seven years, was in second place. He had Skipper was holding on to third place after the swim. Platt, who was fourth in the hand cycling road race in 2012, was increasing his lead at every turn and came into T2 with two minutes and 35 seconds in hand over his rivals. Skipper and Italian Giovanni Accenza lost time to a stop go penalty in T2. Stop and go for Accenza. Now it is the Netherlands and Italy in second and third positions. There they go. Platt was in complete command as he powered towards the finish. The PT1 athletes competing the run leg on racing wheelchairs. Skipper put his head down and turned up the heat to try and catch Accenza in the race for silver. And his big effort paid off as he passed the Italian. Platt, though, was an unstoppable force in the PT1 race. Crossed the line in 59 minutes and 31 seconds. It was double delight for the Dutch as Skipper took the silver. Past an ecstatic Accenza collected the bronze medal. Dutch fans on Copacabana Beach have plenty to celebrate thanks to the brilliance of Jetsen Platt and Gerd Schipper.